Jerry, thank you. With all the protests and unrest we have seen across the country, elected leaders in Central Florida are looking to open up a dialogue about race and bridging the gap between law enforcement and the community. A virtual town hall that we will do and we will have representatives from uh, various elected officers from the federal government to state officials to local officials and then other community advocates and leaders who will participate in that and we'll give the community the opportunity to also weigh in about the present circumstances. So News 6 wanted to learn more about this town hall and the people who would be speaking with the community. News 6's Crystal Moyer has the details. The members of the MLK initiative say the focus of the town hall will be to bridge the gap between law enforcement and the community. Orlando Police Chief Orlando Rolone is one of the several community leaders on the town hall panel. He says he will be all ears and ready to work on solutions to improve community trust. If we see or hear something that maybe we didn't think of because we're not perfect and there's always room for improvement. We have to recognize that. And if there are some takeaways that we can immediately share with our troops, we will do that. I spoke with Lisa Bachman and Monica May, who both co-chair Orange County's MLK initiative. They are encouraging participation from community members. Start writing your questions down now. What are you talking to your children about? What would you like um, police officers to hear? I think that a lot of people are demanding accountability right now. They need answers, they want change, and this is a really nice opportunity to hear from our community leaders. Like faith leaders, local and state representatives, and law enforcement. The virtual town hall is hosted by the MLK Initiative, created by Mayor Jerry Demings last year. He says the initiative encompasses Martin Luther King Jr.'s morals and ideas in sparking peace and justice conversations throughout the county. They say this virtual town hall is necessary given the civil unrest due to the killing of George Floyd by a former Minneapolis police officer. The virtual town hall begins 3 p.m. on Friday and can be viewed on multiple platforms. For more information on how to tune in and to send in your questions, you can head to our website, clickorlando.com. In Orlando, Krista Moyer, Getting Results, News 6.